So on the bench at the minute I've got this little netbook and it suffers from poor Wi-Fi connectivity and if you see it here at the moment it's only got one bar, it's only just connected to my Wi-Fi and really it should be a lot better than that because if you take a look at my laptop next door you'll see it's connected and all the bars are lit up green so what I thought we'd do is uh, take a look at this laptop and see if we can improve the Wi-Fi signal by modifying the antennas in the laptop itself. Now the reason I want to have a go at modifying the antennas themselves is um, I don't really want a dongle to be sticking out the side of this netbook like uh, a laptop from say 10 years ago without built-in Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop off the actual bezel around the screen just to see what kind of antennas we've got in there at the minute. The bound to be PCB antennas but uh, to see what kind of size they are and what they look like and also to see what kind of room I've got to play with either having some dipole antennas down here along the sides maybe or maybe some kind of patch antenna on the back of the screen itself don't really know until I get into it see how much room we've got to play with Alright, so we can see straight away we've just got these two very small PCB antennas here and here and uh, we do seem to have quite a bit of room on the sides here so I'm thinking that maybe two dipole antennas down the sides rather than having say one dipole antenna here and another one here probably better to have them vertically polarised and on the sides here so now that uh, we've got one of them actually removed, if I turn it over, you can actually see the pattern that's etched on there, the, the uh, brown copper. And um, the problem that I think uh, is this laptop was having with this particular antenna is most of it was tucked down behind this metal foil here that's uh, used to shield the uh, LCD screen against any RF interference. So. Half of this antenna was being blocked by this shielding. It was probably interfering with uh, the performance of this antenna and its ability to actually create a decent radiation pattern in order to send and receive Wi-Fi signals. So that is possibly one of the reasons why it was just so poor. And uh, like you saw at the beginning, it had one bar, but it would also uh, switch itself off altogether and then reconnect even at that one bar and it, it just keep doing that so it was impossible to use and it wasn't the card either because I've actually uh, swapped out the card for one that I knew that worked and uh, they had the same problem so it's definitely these antennas that are causing the problem so like I said I'm going to go with a dipole antenna and I've got a piece of tube in here of one of those uh, telescopic antennas that I've told you about in the past and I've got the thinnest piece I could find on the uh, antenna itself and I've cut it down to 25 millimeters exactly and also got a little bit of emery paper and just got rid of the chrome here at the top just so I can put some solder on and what I intend to do is I've cut off the PCB antenna already on here and I'm going to feed this down and I'm going to have the antenna starting somewhere around here because that way it can fit just inside these clips and everything when the bezel fits over the top and it's not taking up any space or I don't have to modify any of the clips on here at all and what we can do then is just trim off this top part of the coax here to 25 millimeters and then we've got ourselves a nice little dipole and we can do that on either side so again if this is the first video you've actually watched of mine and uh, you don't uh, quite understand dipole antennas I'll put a couple of links to some videos where I've mentioned these before and actually shown you how to make a simple dipole antenna so what I've done I've just got a sharp craft knife to, to expose some of the outer core braiding on this uh, coax and just giving it into like a little lump here just so I can put the shield over the top of it there and then I can add some solder in there to solder it up this part of the antenna I'll measure off at the end just make sure you've got a lot more than 25 millimeters so you're not going to end up too short and having to solder some onto there so I've got it held down in a clamp here and what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of solder just to hold that braid in place 
and we don't want to get it so hot that we actually burn through to the inner core as well try and get it as level as we can and now what we're going to do is measure off 25 millimeters from the end here to this pigtail here so that's actually one of them finished and modified and that's about as simple as it gets but I will guarantee this will outperform those PCB antennas so I've got both antennas in place and the LCD fastened back down again. This one came out a little bit short, took us a little, a little bit carried away with the uh, wire cutters but uh, it still fit in there fine. And this one is in here and they're not um, in any way interfering with any of the clips that um, the actual bezel fastens down on. So hopefully this is going to improve the Wi-Fi on this laptop no end. So I've got the laptop back together now and as you can see it's got full bars so those little dipole antennas doing a much better job than the PCB antennas that were in there as stock. So I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please uh, give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you for the next one.